What's up, y'all? About to read chapter 5 of the New Testament. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountains, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Sake for theirs is the king, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice, be glad for your reward is great in heaven for though so they persecuted the prophets were before you you are the salt of the earth but if salt has lost its taste how shall it you are the salt of earth but if salt has lost its taste how shall its saltiness be restored it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet you are the light of the world a city set on hill cannot be hidden nor do people light a lamp put it under a basket but on a stand, it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so they, they may see your good works. Give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Do not think I have come to abolish the law or prophets. I have not come to abolish them, to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. And therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murder will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council. And whoever says you fool will be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court. Lest your accuser hand you over to the judgment and the, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. So that's going to be part one of chapter five in the New Testament. And I will continue. So for right now, I love and appreciate all of you. And we out.